So in the middle is a square and the whole thing is in a circle like so there's a says square and compass and there are four pieces so it's the concept of four and each each of the four pieces are almost like a triangle and it's a concept of three so Vesoul is a town here in France in eastern France oh it says square and compass to all the initiated ones there's me hitchhiking there's the rest of the luggage so this winter I've already been making videos for you at five different places in different countries of Europe. Uh, now I'm back in France. Thank God I feel safe in France. Even the police are nice with me, they're friendly. They're not corrupted, they're not aggressive like in Switzerland or Germany. So and as I don't have anything else, you know, I'm using an ironing table to iron, to iron, um, I have to make the next video here, you know, there's the microphone, it's an ironing table, I don't have a table here, you know, it's quite tiny, people are fans of my videos, I was every time at fans of my videos, it didn't always go okay, you know, but hopefully it will go okay here, I think so nice people of course nobody um, the people I visited nobody has taken the uh, Pharaoh's poison They're all fans of my videos and uh, we're on the same level so I've never done this before you know making videos on an iron table well, there's no iron at all it's all wood it's very old it looks like hundred years old you know look at it so well, that's the first thing for everything, eh? Well, not every, not almost everything, then, eh? Certain things I don't want to do, eh? Your pink list killers, like, you know? No, never! <laughs> so, this is the, um, the fifth place where I will be making videos this winter. Uh, and also the bacon here. <laughs> you know, it must have a, uh, a Swiss flag on it. You know, it says Bratspeck, bacon. You know. uh, even here on the price, you know, the thing you stick on here, there's a Swiss flag. Swiss pigs, eh? Talking about Swiss pigs. There you go. I wonder which Swiss pigs they mean. Yeah. For the Swiss pigs and the bacon, it needs a Swiss flag, you know, otherwise it cannot be digested, sort of. You know. It's amazing. And also the Swiss eggs, you know, it's on, on, it, it needs a Swiss flag, yeah. And, uh, yeah. So anybody recognize it's a uh, it's a uh, Swiss chicken. Probably not a Swiss flag on its ass somewhere or something, you know. I'm almost tempted, you know, to open it up and look at the eggs if the if the chicken makes a Swiss flag on it, you know, automatically, you know. Probably they call it Eidgenössische Gesetze, you know, some some law, some Swiss law that the chicken needs to put a, a Swiss flag on it. You know. you know, it's like Old Mac Swissy had a farm. Ea he -a ho. Old Mac Swissy had a farm. Oh, I can make another clip of the out of that. Eh? The Old Mac Swissy had a farm. You know, even the Swiss candy, you know, has a Swiss cross on it. So the kids also get used to the idea, you know, uh, that everything must have a Swiss cross. You know, they already, you know, they already get conditioned in Switzerland from a very early age onwards. You know, it's um, and here it says Muns. It's like Kunz, but it's with an M. 
you know, the uh, Dr. Death Kunz and the SS Kunz and the corrupt cop Kunz. Here it says Munz. Oh, they like the uns, everything, you know. Well, uns is, um, it means ours, we, but it's with an S normally. So the Swiss cross for the kiddies, so they get the idea of nationalism, you know, they get it together with the sugar, you know, so it gets faster into the blood probably, I don't know. really sickening. You know the Swissies they got this idea that they are something better than the rest of the world you know that there's something more you know it's like uh, identitarian stuff you know. and if you criticize it they might even kill you. Now yeah, also the bag of chips here it has the um, as the Swiss cross, all the teenagers, you know, they get indoctrinated with the idea, you know, like how it should be. You know, it says original chips. It's like Switzerland invented the chips or something. Original chips, Switzerland. I mean, that's what it says, doesn't it? It says that the um, with Swiss salt of the Alps, Alp salt, and a sort of an oil. And it's a Z, a Z for the Americans. And here on the other side as well, what does it say here? A family tradition since 1958, Swiss cross. Oh, well. Everywhere, you know? So it's like identifying, you know? Because Switzerland is, most of all, it's an idea, you know. It's not a people. I mean, how can a people speak four languages? It's not even a country, you know. It's an idea. And, and this is the idea. That, that's why the, the flag is everywhere. You know, they, they've got the most perfect slaves in the world. You know, they absolutely defend everything. The Swiss banks and the, the Davos. The Swissies, they defend everything what the idea tells them to, you know. They adore this, you know, and then they think there's something better than the rest of the world, like, you know. This is how it works, you know, I, I, identitarian, like Nazis do. They also call that identitarian nowadays, you know. A group of people having the same idea, the same identity, uh, doing the same sort of things, you know. Like this here. This is really identitarian. And it's very much Nazism. Yeah. Okay, so Swissy invented the uh, the chips, the crisps. You know, it's like we and the others. It's very distinctively saying we and the others. You know, but... And I talked about this uh, with Germans and they all told me if we as a German would do this and put a German flag everywhere, we would be labeled as neo-Nazis and we even got, we would get problems. But everybody's thinking this country here, you know, they're so neutral, they never done anything, you know. Well, let me tell you, they did a lot. So this is why people are thinking, well, you know, it's harmless, you know. Well, they did a lot. The only thing is, they are better at hiding it all. And again, I'm at another place where I'm working for you. Um, here in France, in the east of France. So you got an idea, you know. I've been, oh, I've been going. I don't know this winter to at least. Oh, Eight places, I think. The dust bag. And it's quite big here. So when I look outside, I see this magnificent church here. Ah, this is France. 
I should go and have a look. Shall I? But these are like sauces from Switzerland, you know. Even here they must put the the Swiss Templar cross here. And here. Otherwise the people won't eat it, they won't buy it. Look at this, this is even worse. This is a memory, you know. Also with the Swiss cross here. Swiss flag. You know. They are like saying here we invented memory, you know. This is what they're saying, isn't it, you know? Everywhere, you know, so that the kids get used to it, you know. And if a German would do this, you know, you know, everybody would think he's like a neo-Nazi, so that the Germans wouldn't do this. The Swissies, they do it. It's everywhere, you know. So the, the kiddies, they get used to it, you know, there's um, Swiss memory. Right? They're just portraying here, they invented it. <laughs> this thing here is French, peanuts, cacahuete, it's peanuts, and look at this here, it's the inverse pyramid of death of the Outwick concentration camp, and it even has this round thing under it, it means for the, uh, the penal battalions in the, uh, in the concentration camp, this round thing under, underneath. And red is for the political prisoners. I don't know what it, what it says. Oh, there's a coat of arms because you know it's all by the the nobility. So you know they're just making jokes about the outwick, about the whole catch. Just making jokes about it. You know, it's disgusting. I mean, they don't do it without any reason, you know, it, it, it doesn't just come like this, a triangle, the inverse triangle of death, just like a coincidence on it, and the, the little round thing as well. No, well, it's not a coincidence. So enjoy your peanuts, eh? They're probably saying, oh, the whole catch was just peanuts or something, or the, uh, the, um, the outwick, just peanuts. It's disgusting. Really. And nobody does a thing. Only if a, like a German puts a t-shirt saying Outwick or something, you know, goes to prison or, or anybody. No Europeans dare to talk about it anymore at all, you know, about Outwick and the whole catch. Nobody dares to talk about it anymore. So there's just an indifference about it, which is even worth, worse than hatred. The indifference is, is, is worse than hatred, isn't it? So now there's an indifference. Nobody talks about it. Nobody wants to. You don't want to go to prison. Well, you can see it's like sauce, you know, like this is gar uh, uh, what kind of sauce? It's, oh, it says Swiss sauce. Schweizer sauce. Everything is Swiss, you know? Yeah, Schweizer sauce. Swiss sauce. This is with garlic, knoblauch, and this, tartare. It's like the Swiss invented the tartare sauce, and this one, cocktail. Yeah, the Swiss invented it, yeah, sure, yeah. No. It's ridiculous, Swiss sauce. It's not invented by the Swissies. You're just profiting of it, and then they come with all their nationalist stuff like we invented it we did it you know just like the memory and this one too it says swiss sauce but well, the swiss didn't invent the cocktail sauce they just profit from everything they also profit all the things you know before the police and the radio and what the fbi invented and then they use it against just everyone you know like against innocent people in switzerland this is how they are here you can see that they are like that it's the final proof. So this is the Swiss milk. So you know it's a Swiss cow and not some immigrant cow or whatever. They don't like immigrants very much in Switzerland. So it says Vollmilch. Uh, here's the Vesica Piscus in the, the two O's and making a uh, Making an oval in the middle. See? 
And on this bag, it, you can't have a bag in Switzerland without a Swiss cross on it, you know, with a cube. Everywhere, everywhere, everything, and you see flags everywhere. When I came there, you know, they had all these three white sheep kicking out and beating up a, a black sheep. You know, all the posters in the streets. The Swissies were completely fanaticized by it, you know. It's like, I felt, I felt like being in the 30s in Germany, in Nazi Germany, really. The police chasing and terrorizing foreigners, together with that lying justice department, putting in people in prison for nothing. Well, you can see, you know, very nationalistic. Well, we are better than the rest, we've invented everything, you know. They probably invented the milk as well. You know. Now oh, look, pharaohs are here. Or oh, some people will think that we're nice, the pharaohs.